Hello everyone, Courtney here from How to Loom Your Dragon here with January's update. This is also a summary of everything that we've made in 2014 since I started doing tutorials. So, um, I'm just going to be going through what we made and what we will be making in January. And then after that, if you want to watch the rest of the video, I show everything that I've made so far. So, in the month of December, we have made the baby hobble grunt. So I'm going to go over here and show you him. Okay, baby hobble grunt from How to Train Your Dragon 2. He takes one loom. Okay, it's actually not too difficult, but I do make a mistake in the video. So if you make him, I recommend you use a computer or something where the notes pop up so that you will not make the same mistake as me. All right, then after him, I did the pterodactyls, which are these guys here. They are also one loom, so definitely make them. They're pretty cool. Hee <laughs> hee. All right, after the pterodactyls, we did Falcor. And he is up here. So definitely make Falcor, okay? Especially if you are a fan of Never Ending Story, he takes two looms. All right, and then after Falcor, we did the Banshee from Avatar. That's this guy here, the adult Ikran Banshee, which takes two looms. So definitely, um, Make him, because he's really cool, especially if you love Avatar. All right, here's Neytiri's. This is Neytiri's, and this is Jake's. I used shiny blue metallic bands on him. He's pretty cool. All right, and I believe that was all we did in December. So in January, the first thing that's going to come out the first Friday in January is this guy, the Scuttleclaw Baby from How to Train Your Dragon 2, he is one loom. Okay, this is the baby that they end up riding at the end of the moving, movie, or toward the end of the movie. The babies that don't listen to anyone. anyone. <laughs> All right, then on January 9th, you will have the little griffin. Okay, this is the baby griffin. Also only one loom for this guy. He is awesome, I hope you make him because He's just spectacular, especially the bald eagle colored ones. So thank you for being patient about that guy, because I know a lot of you are waiting a long time for him. This is one with different colors. I did the lion colors on, on him. Okay, so that is one loom. That's coming January 9th. On January 16th, I'm planning on having the Change Wings Mommy come out. Okay, so this guy, his mommy, will be coming out. I don't know if I'm going to be using as many clear bands on the mother or not, and there will po probably be more red than brown bands as well. Then on the 23rd, I think is the next Friday after that, I'm going to probably do the another dinosaur, probably like the Triceratops or the Brontosaurus. Okay. Um, and then the last week of the month, I'm probably going to do the new version of the baby nightmare, the baby monstrous nightmare. Okay, but um, I also know a lot of you are waiting for the wolves, so I might do one of the wolves instead. I'm not really sure. It depends on what bands I still have left, because I tried. I'm going to try to use up as many bands as possible before I get new ones. Okay, so before you make any more requests, check the list below this video in the description. That's all I'm planning on making. So far, of course, more may be added, so definitely check that out, okay? Before you make requests, make sure, you know, what you're requesting isn't on the list already. All right, so um, now that I've done that, before I go through everything, I just want to let you know that each month I'm going to try to have a dinosaur tutorial out. The dinosaurs, I'm going to try to do just one loom for the dinosaur series. Okay, I'm also going to try to do at least one or two of the How to Train Your Dragon guys, okay, every month. And then at least one or two, depending on the how many weeks are left, um, animals. Okay, so like griffins, wolves, 
eagles, whatever I decide to do. Or it could end up being like um, the list of dragons from other movies. So like maybe the Harry Potter dragons or Game of Thrones dragons. So I'm going to try to have a variety of things coming out every month for, for you all. All right. Um, so now that we've done that, let's go through everything so far. Woohoo. All right, I'm rolling up my sleeves here. <laughs> All right, well, here are the kangaroos. Mama takes two looms, baby takes one loom, baby can fit into the pouch. Okay. Lots of brown bands there for those guys, though. <laughs> but they're cool. All right. The phoenixes. Here is the adult phoenix, one loom. Here is the baby. He so cute. He's got a cool little hairdo there. Here are the T-Rexes, the first dinosaurs I did. One loom. Okay, that guy's the same. He's just brown. Okay, griffins I already showed you. Those are coming out soon. Here are the snowy owls. Here's the adult snowy owl. You can add as many spots as you want onto it. I apologize about the tutorial. I did rush it and I didn't plan out that tutorial very well, but it is, it is what it is. All right, here's the baby. Snowy Owl, which are gray owls. Okay, he's a little harder to do because he takes a lot of double looped bands. I showed you the pterodactyls already. Here's the baby tiger. He takes one loom. I have the adult one on my channel. I do not have it here because I did not yet make another one. The first one is at Rainbow Loom. I have not yet made the second one yet for myself. But the adult tiger is very cool, so definitely check that out. All right, and then I have all the baby um, dragons here, or the ones without parents. <laughs> so the baby, baby scuttle claw and the baby screaming death. Also one loom. Okay. I'm going to be remaking the adult one eventually. All right. Here is the baby typhoomerang or torch. One loom for him. Um, I will be doing a triple loom adult. I do have a two loom adult on my channel of him. Here is the baby squadron one loom. I do have a tutorial for a larger one on my channel, but it is not too much bigger than him, so I'm going to be doing a triple loom one, which I can actually do on two looms eventually. All right, I have the bands for that, so that will probably be coming sooner than later. Showed you the hobble grunt. Here is Skull Crusher Baby, Rumblehorn Baby, one loom for him. Okay, does not yet have a mommy. None of these guys do. Um, change wing, I showed you him. Here's Spyro the Dragon. I did start designing Cinder. Um, I'm using the deep purple bands for Cinder. Unfortunately, um, her, her head isn't working out for me at this point, but I will, I will do Cinder as well at some point. So don't worry about that. Once her head starts working. <laughs> All right. So after that here, we have a bunch more of the How to Train Your Dragon Dragons. <laughs> Baby Sea Shocker from How to Train Your Dragon 2 is one loom. Yay. Here is the adult, which is two. Takes a long time to make because it is a very multi-step process, but really cool. Okay. Um, here is the baby Skrill, one loom. And the adult one is here. This is slightly different than the one on my channel. The one on my channel has teeth. <laughs> Should make the one on my channel looks better anyway. Baby Zippleback. Okay, one loom for him. Two-headed dragon. And here is the adult Zippleback. Two heads. Takes two looms. Here is Rough Nut that Kate Schultz made. So if you want to make Rough Nut, search her on YouTube and it'll probably show up Kate Schultz's tutorial. Ah, sorry Rough Nut. She did an awesome job on Rough Nut. She's like all slouched over like she, like she is in the film. I love her. All right, here is um, Astrid, also made by Kate Schultz. Okay, so definitely make her. Here is Baby Stormfly. This one's slightly different than the one on my channel. The one on my channel is better, so don't request this one because it's ugly. All right, go check out the one on my channel. It is one loom. Here is Adult Stormfly, which is two looms. Also, I have the saddle tutorial on my channel, which actually holds Astrid's axe in it, which is pretty cool. So if you've made the adult Stormfly, definitely make the saddle with the axe, which attaches onto the saddle. Yay! Um, here's the Bone Nappers. Baby Bone Napper is one loom. He's one of my favorite baby dragons. I think he's brilliant with his rib cage and everything. <laughs> 
and the adult one, which isn't much bigger, is two looms. I may remake this one eventually if I feel like it, but right now I don't feel like it, so we'll see. Um, Baby Toothless, my first tutorial right here, except I added a stomach onto him and I attached his wings better. Okay, so definitely make him. If you, if you haven't made any dragons, make him first. Okay, here's Adult Toothless. Okay, two looms for him. So cool. And make his saddle. I have a tutorial for the saddle on my channel. And then here's Hiccup, that also designed by Kate Schultz. Um, the helmet, I have a tutorial for the helmet on my channel, so definitely go check that out. Yay! Alright, uh, Whispering Death. Here's the baby Whispering Death. One loom. He's pretty simple to make, except there's a lot of double looped bands on him, but he's pretty easy to do. Um, and here's the adults, which is two looms. Okay. Whispering Death. Cloud Jumper Baby. One loom. <laughs> and here's the adult Cloud Jumper. Two loom. Oh, actually, I used three. But the only time I used the third one, I think, was when I did his back. Okay, so you need like seven rows for him. But he's cute too. <laughs> All right, then we have the smoke breaths. Okay, here's baby smoke breath. Okay, one loom for him. Mama smoke breath. One loom for her. Or baby terrible terror. This is the new version. Okay, one loom. And here's the adult, also one loom. All right, uh, Gobber, here's Gobber. This is pretty much Kate Schultz's design. I just changed it so his helmet was detachable. I made a different helmet and just made him bald so I can put the helmet on him, take it on and off, but he's really cool. <laughs> so go make him. Here is the baby thunder drum, one loom. Here is the triple loom one. I have a double loom one on my channel. This is the triple loom one, which I will probably do a tutorial on someday. I just don't have the right color bands on me right now, so it might be a while, but everybody wants him, I guess, because you can fit the baby inside the mouth. I don't know why everybody wants the big one, but someday I'll put it up. I promise. <laughs> um, The alphas, the bewildered beasts. Here's Drago's. This is two looms. I don't like the color, though. I wish that I had light gray bands to use, but I ended up mixing the dark gray and the white. Here's Volkas, but this one I love. I love the colors on this one. Two looms as well, same design. And here's the baby, which is one loom. So cute. <laughs> flight mares. Here's the baby flight mare. One loom. Here's the adult flight mare. Two looms. This one, pretty cool. I like that guy. Except they're supposed to be blue, but oh well. Snap trappers. Here's the baby snap trapper. One loom for him. Four heads. Here's the adult, which is slightly different than the one on my channel. The heads are exactly the same, but uh, the wings, I changed the body I made longer and I added speckles to him. So he is slightly different than the one on my channel. But the one on my channel is still pretty cool. Alright, uh, fireworm baby. Here he is, one loom. He's actually really big. He's supposed to be uber tiny in the show, but oh well. Here's the Fireworm Queen. <sighs> She's very creepy, but I love her. Two looms for her. Um, baby Timberjack. One loom for him. <laughs> um, here is Adult Timberjack, which I used three looms for the wings. You can do it with two looms, but the wings will be thinner. So if you have two or three looms, you can make him. Check him out on my channel. Um, here is Baby Meat Lug, the Baby Gronkle. This one I did with two looms, this baby, before I figured out a single loom technique for the larger baby dragons. Focus! Okay. Um, the adult one was also... Was this one two looms? I think this one was two looms, but it might have been three. Whatever. I'm pretty sure it was two looms, but it might have been three. But she is so cute. This is one of my favorite adult dragons, like the face. I just love it. So definitely make meat lug, the gronkles. Um, here is adult hook fang, the adult nightmare. Two looms for him. Okay, his wings are bent right now, but he's really pretty. 
majestic looking. This um, is different from the baby on my channel right now. I will be remaking the baby eventually, hopefully sometime in January or February. Um, but the one that I make will be different from this. The head will be completely different. He needs two rows of spikes on his back, so he'll be a little different. But I will be remaking the Nightmare Baby to fit on one loom to look more like the Nightmare Baby. And here we have the Baby Red Death. Okay, he is two looms. I did him on two looms. Okay, and the Adult Red Death here is three looms. Definitely the most complicated How to Train Your Dragon tutorial. But pretty flipping cool. Uh -huh. And then we have Smog from The Hobbit. He is three looms. His wings are really cool though because his arms are attached underneath the wings. This guy is slightly different because I elongated his body from the one in the tutorial. But he's pretty, pretty awesome, so definitely make him. There's Falcor, like I showed you before. Okay. From the never ending story and here's the adult chinese dragon this is the one that rainbow loom absolutely loves <laughs> he's two looms okay um this is was my first design of toothless before my first tutorial he's pretty priceless <laughs> he's he's uh he's got a bent up leg and everything but uh pretty cool there's my face in the mirror <laughs> Baby Chinese Dragon, one loom. Here's my two Christmas tutorials. I did Rudolph and Clarice with wreaths on their necks so they can be hung on the tree like ornaments. I think they're pretty, pretty cute. Except Clarice needs the skin tone bands. Um, here are the Mocking Jays from The Hunger Games. Yeesh. I did a black and gold one and then I did just one all gold. Yee. So if you're a fan of The Hunger Games, definitely make that. And then over here we have the avatar animals, so the banshees like I showed you, and then Taruk, adult Taruk, which takes three looms. It's pretty cool looking though. Rawr. And then the baby one, which takes one loom. Okay, I will be doing a baby banshee as well. And last but not least, my beautiful poodle, Diamond, whose sister Diva went to Rainbow Loom. <laughs> love her um so if you haven't checked out the video on the making of the poodles definitely check those out i will be doing a tutorial of a three loom mini poodle um eventually but people are really bothering me about the poodle so i don't know when i'm gonna do it like people are begging for this size tutorial and it takes 15 looms and 50 hours like there's no way i'm doing a tutorial for that people so you'll just have to settle with a mini one eventually all right, hope you'll ever um, definitely uh, subscribe. And uh, I look forward to seeing you in January. Have a wonderful, wonderful new year, everyone. Bye-bye.